Welcome to Vagrant Hippopotamus. New low price. <laughs> we have some Skylanders cards for you today. Maybe we should have bought more of these. Yeah. Oh, I think that's what it is. <laughs> yes, Skylanders. So that's something, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> It's going to be a relatively short video, by the way. Okay. Sorry, cool. pressed the wrong button. <laughs> okay, so it is Skylanders. Yeah, I know I know it was Skylanders. Heck, the audience probably knew it was Skylanders. Oh, what? Check it out, people. Codes. Are you sure that's a code? I, or maybe not. I don't... Don't any of you judge me. You would have done the same. Let's go right down the line. Nerds. Empire of Ice. Empire of Ice. Oh, it's a location card. Oh, hey, Ghost Roaster. No chain, no gain. <laughs> hey, let's check the backs of these two since we don't have too much. Oh, cool. There was a time when Ghost Roaster was neither a ghost nor a roaster. Oh, Instead, Jesus. he was... A chief living in a village high in the mountains. That's Chef, by the way. Chief has an eye. Oh. That's, that's not as, you know, amazing, I guess. I guess he was just a chef. I guess that roaster thing makes a little more sense. Wait, why was he clip... Oh, he's clipping wool from a sheep to use in a... Re... What? Who uses sheep wool as a, in a recipe? That's actually a, a good question. A recipe. He accidentally fell into the valley of the undead and transformed into a ghost-eating ghoul. So we fell into the Valley of the Undead and died. <laughs> I guess. Use a spike ball as punishment. Wait, wait, wait. Go back to his car oh, to his actual like picture. Ha! Huh, uses it. It's his tail. <laughs> Cute. Yeah, kind of. Evil imp minion. Wait, what? Are they his evil imp minions? That actually looks kind of like him. I bet. I think they're his. First appearance, I guess. Creepy Citadel. Maybe they're not his minions. I don't know. Viking helmet. Oh, cool. In a a, it's an apparel item. <laughs> Speaking of which, who here is absolutely psyched for the first three Spyro games to be remastered in, on the PS4? I'm actually ready for that. These Skylander games have been annoying, personally. We still need... It's been a couple of years since they've been released, but we still need to get and play the Crash games. Oh, man. Crash Bandicoot? Yeah. Yes. Prison Break. <laughs> the beam is supreme. These puns aren't fun. They're fun puns. Ooh, Stealth Elf! Huh? That's who's wearing that fez. Stealth Elf. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. No, let's see some background on Prison Beam. Well, you started talking about or this Prison one. Break. Sure done with it. Prison Break. <laughs> prison Break was once a fearsome rock golem who didn't like being disturbed. Then, an accidental cave-in left him buried underground. 100 years later, a mining explosion, expedition... Explosion. Digging for valuable jewels discovered him by chance with a well-placed blow from a pickaxe. Something Prison Break doesn't talk about. Wait, what? Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> That's... Let's, um... Dear. So, yeah, I guess after 100 years, he's, like, crystallized partially or something. I don't know. This series doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Oh, come on. There we go. Bez. Your favorite character from that 70s show. Location, Stormy Stronghold. Bez. Cool. Hothead. Oh, cool. We got a foil. Hey, hey. I'm on fire. No. <laughs> just, it's just... It's literally what it says. No. All right, let's look at the back. Is the I back foil, too? Of these are. I hope so. Damn it. Shucks. Hothead had always been a short-tempered fire giant. Oh, wait. He's not a golem, too? Weird. I guess he's a fire giant. But it was when magical oil was discovered in Skylands. Oh, the world is called Skylands. Okay. I guess that explains why the characters are called Skylanders. Uh, I want to watch Skylanders Academy now. I don't understand the lore of this series. But yeah, there's also like a TV show. For real? On Netflix. Oof. Oof. God, I just love shiny things.
things. Yeah, we're not going to, like, read all the lore of these characters, so if you're really that interested, you can just pause the video and read it yourself. I'm sorry. I'm not. Chop, chop. I don't get it. Is that a character, or is that a... Um... Oh, yeah, I guess that's what that... Wait, yeah. wait, wait, wait. That's a... That's one of the Skylanders, though. Why doesn't he get a card like the rest of these? I uh -huh. That is so confusing. Bash. Bash. I'm gonna guess Bash is that dinosaur thing. The stampede? Hey, it is the dinosaur thing. Rock and... Oh, my God. So swipe. Rock and roll. No. <laughs> Okay. Wait, did we open both packs? Oh yeah, they're like stuck together. I'm gonna pull this one on the front since we've <laughs> technically already looked at it. But Drobot. I get it, he's a dragon robot. Drobot. Oh, I see something shiny in this one too. Mega yeah, what Blasters. the heck? Tech some of the characters blade. have these cards and some of them have like this, like actual character informational cards. Cinder. Like, do you need both to use the characters or what? This isn't even part of the actual like games. <laughs> Calm so down that's... now. <laughs> well, just an egg. Hey, 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 cause it's a dragon, get it? Cinder was stolen by the henchman of an evil dragon named Malfor and raised to do his bidding. So basically, they kidnapped the dragon? It was a dragon kidnapping? I guess. Oh, she. I guess Cinder is a chick. Ha <laughs> ha. She speared throughout the spread. land. Spread. Spread. She spread throughout the land until she was defeated by Spyro the dragon and freed from the grip of... Malfor. Or Malfor. But dark powers still flow through her, despite her desire to make amends for her past. Most Skylanders try to keep a safe distance, just in case. There, we read all of one of them. That's because it, didn't, it only took like a third of the card instead of all of it like some of the others. Habanero. Oh, I get it. I don't. Like, like a habanero? Like a pepper? Oh, now I get it. Leviathan Lagoon. All right, so this is an enemy since it doesn't have like attack things. Bone and arrow. Oh god. It's definitely an enemy. Cadaverous crypt. Wow, you actually pronounced cadaverous right. Hey. Cadaverous. I don't. Cadaverous. I, <laughs> I don't have to spell everything wrong. You mean pronounce everything wrong? Yeah. Zap. Ride the lightning. Oh, please kill me now. Hey, that was cool. Zap was born into the royal family of water dragons, but a riptide... Isn't there also a character named Riptide? Washed him into a distant sea where he was raised by electric eels. I wonder if anyone told the creators of this series that electric eels don't actually shoot lightning. You know what? Whatever. We'll just let them find out themselves. Growing up, he excelled in everything and even created a special gold harness that allows him to carry an en endless electrical charge and shock things at a great distance. They also know that gold doesn't generate electricity, right? It's <laughs> like it could just conduct it, but there has to... I don't know. This makes no sense. Is that also a pretty gifted racer? Outst outstripping? Jesus. What kind of races is he in, uh, involved in? Where did you get that? Uh, right there. Outstripping. Not stripping any opponent. I guess strip racing. <laughs> okay, with the possible exception of the dolphins, that well, actually that, makes it even more questionable. Well, that's it. Well, that's a really easy race to win. Just electrify the water and kill the dolphins. Jesus. What? I hate dolphins. That's like they're like one. Of, they're the only animal on the planet that I actually don't think I can stand. For I don't. Real? Yeah, I don't know why. I just don't like dolphins at all. <laughs> Maybe because they're assholes. And let your current in his wake often reminded them who they were dealing with despite his mischievous streak. Zep grew to be a true protector of the seas and skylands. So there you go. Wait, an electric current. Oh, so he did electrocute the water just enough to hurt them and yep, not kill them. <laughs> well, that's fire spell punk. Aw, spell punks. I forgot. That's like the little wizard enemies of the game are spell punks. Aw. Lava, Lava Lakes, Lakes Railway. Railway. Okay. Fire spell punk. Boom. Gilgrunt. Another shiny. Beer of the fish. Ah. Yes. So, 
According to his name, he must have gills. So how does he breathe above water? Oh, wow. He joined the Gilman military. Gil Gilman. <laughs> About to return after this. Oh, no. Pirates kidnapped the mermaid. Yeah, we're not even reading this out loud. We're just kind of reading it to ourselves. But again, just if it's really that important to you, then just pause the video. It doesn't really make a difference. We're sorry. I'm not. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um. Oh, cool! It like makes a it makes pictures. We need to get more of these now. No, you can get them for like three bucks at Walmart. Igniter. I think Igniter is this knight with a flaming sword and head. Whoops. That wouldn't surprise me. I'll turn it around. We'll find out. Oh! Flame blade. Flame form mortar. Cool. So, yeah, maybe we'll get more Skylanders just to, you know, get more of this tasty, tasty lore. I think you just want to do it for the puzzle pieces. Yeah, I, I do want to do it for the puzzle Let's pieces. Let's make a full picture. We'll make a full picture. <laughs> so that was the first of uh, the two short videos we're doing today. Tune in, like, right now for the other video. See you later.